Stop paying for multiple tools. I have found one that has everything you need. With this, you won't need to pay for Kling, Leonardo OI, Tensor Art, and Recraft all together, which is pricey. This tool contains all of their features. I am talking image to video, text to video image generations, virtual try on, and more than 20 other AI features, all in one subscription. Well, let's get started. Don't forget to like the video. Okay, so this is the platform that we're gonna use today. As you can see, the name is Prome AI and the link will be in the description. So as you can see from the get-go, it says the ultimate AI art generator. So rather than using multiple tools, all of them are compiled into this one. And as you can see, you can get started for free. It's trusted by a lot of people as a lot of people already use it. You can turn your literal sketches into full-blown, well-rendered images. As you can see here, this is the before and after. As you can see, it's very impressive and perfect for if you're already an artist. Then if you scroll down, you can turn your images into videos as you can see here, which is what we are going to use today. As you can see, it's very, very realistic and very cinematic. And I like this one especially. Then if you go down, this is just the community. You can get the prompts that you want. And yeah, that's it. You can generate consistent models. And it has a wide community. Now, if you go all the way up here where it says AI tools, you can see the vast amount of AI tools that they have. I mean, as I said, you won't need to pay for any other AI app if you get this one. And as you can see, it's very, very awesome. You won't need multiple AI apps. They are all here and it's perfect for architecture, interior, landscape products, and even games. And one that I especially like and we are going to use a lot is HD Upscaler, then image to video, text to video. So just scroll back up and then click on, on start creating for free. I'll use my Google account as always. And you should be presented with this interface. So as you can see, these are just all the tools and these are workflows. You can go here and you can see all of them. Let's have an idea. So firstly, before we try the text video, image video, let us try the image generator. Let's click on start. Then yeah, you can see this is what the community has generated. You can copy the prompts if you want, or you could remix it. But for now, we will just type in our own. When you're done with the prompt, you can enhance the prompt. Just click on it. Then you can choose either V1 or V2. Then under here, you can choose the style. As you can see, they've got a wide variety of styles. We can leave it at none, or rather choose photography, which is perfect for AI influencers. Then you choose the type that you want. I think preferably we'll go for documentary photography. Then for scene, we can choose the scene, whichever one you want, but we'll leave it at none for now. Then perspective, let's choose any one. Maybe we want small or full body. Then the ratio, we'll maybe choose 16 by nine. Then the lighting, maybe we'll just leave it at none for now. Then for the amount of images, you can maybe put a four, but let's leave it at three. Then you can turn on fast mode or not. Maybe I'll turn it on. Then click on generate and let's see how it does. And as you can see, it's done. And boy, oh boy, look at how realistic it is. There is no sort of morphing, nothing like that. It's very realistic and you can easily download it or you can send it to the HE upscaler. Just send it there. So, so we've sent it to the image upscaler. It's now here, then you can just click on generate. But before that, you can go here to mess around with the creativity. So what it's supposed to do is that it should add a little bit of creativity to it. Choose based on your need, then press generate. As you can see, it's done and it's messed around. You see just a slight bit and you can see it's clear now, which is awesome and you can always download it. So now let us try the text to video. I would go over here to AI tools, then click on text to video. So we are here, we can simply type in our prompt, but you can just see what the community has made. You can just click on it to look at it. You can see not too bad, but not perfect either. So let's try out our own. Now we just try our prompt. So once you're done, you can also choose the style. Just one natural, then the ratio will put 16 by nine. Then the motion intensity will increase it to about 90. Now click on generate. So this is the result as you can see it's decent. It's just that the face is blurred or is disfigured. So now let us try the image to video. So once you're back here, click on image to video then simply add in your image here. These are some of the ones that I've uploaded before. So I've got this one here. Then first of all, try with no prompts. You can choose the motion intensity. I'll just drag it back to about 80, then click on generate. So now it's done. Let's take a look. As you can see, there's no sort of morphing. And because we did not use any prompt, she's more or less talking. And as you can see, it got it perfectly. Now you can go here to edit. 
Then you can take this to the HD upscaler where it seems the HD of scaler is for images. So you can just go back and you can download this. Then let's now try with prompts. Then click on generate. Then as you can see, it does turn the head perfect with no morphing or whatsoever. It's pretty decent. These are the other ones that I did. As you can see, it does those slight movements, which I really like. Now, another tool that we can try out is Virtual Try On. Just click on it. You can see, these are some of the examples. Then you can upload in the model's picture. So, for example, I've got this one here. You can see, even when you hover over it, it would highlight it. Then just click on the part that you need to be changed. Then you choose one of the clothes. I'll just use one of their presets. Then you can select the amount of images or the realism level. Well, I'll just turn on fast mode and then click on generate. Okay, so now it is done. And as you can see, it generated two results and all of them are super, super realistic. They're all high quality. And one last one that I'd like us to try is this real light. So just click on it, then you can upload in your photo. So for this, I'll just use one of their presets images. Just click on it, then go over here to light composition. As you can see, they've got a wide variety of light presets to use. I think I'll use this one, then stylization, turn it on, can choose the prompt, the color, I think we'll go for this. Then we click on generate. And as you can see, it did a wonderful job. Not forget that this is the image that we had used before. This is it. And now, after we put it through the relighter, it generated this, which is awesome, and you can always download it if you want. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI content like this.